Okay, so we've got three cards here. This is known as the three card Monty, okay? So you've got the lady in the middle and you've got the two fours on the outside. Okay, so what you need to do now is keep your eye on where the lady is. You know that she's in the middle. There she is, I'll put her down there, okay? You know where she is, she's in the middle. Okay, now you keep your eyes on that, place her down, okay? Move it around, you know where she is, change things around, you know she's there. You can follow this, it's easy, isn't it? It's really easy. Just keep following what we're doing with the lady, keep following where she is. You know where she is, right? She's there, you'd be wrong. She's there, back in the middle. Okay, keep your eye on it. Right, here we go, watch. There she is, there, okay, we'll place her down, okay? Change over, you know that she's there, we'll change over. She's there, right? No, she's back in the middle. Keep your eye on what's going on. Tell you so, what, what has the three card Monty got to do with fitness? Well, with the three card Monty, the operator, the person dealing the cards, the tosser, as they're sometimes known as, and that's serious, they are known as that, um, is manipulating those cards, manipulating the sleight of hand, manipulating your psychology so that you lose. Uh, in fitness, what we have to do, though, is manipulate what's called the FIT principle. That's F-I-T-T, -T, frequency, intensity, time and type of exercise. So if we mess around with any of those, the, the FIT principles, then we're likely to get some results. So, for instance, if you've got a client who starts out and they do one walk a week, three miles an hour, uh, and they walk a mile, and if they continue to do that, as their fitness journey and that's all they do they will just maintain they won't get any better they won't get any fitter however if we change one of the frequency uh, intensity time and type the fit principle principles um, then we'll have a result so for instance instead of doing that one mile three miles an hour once a week if we got them to do it four times a week they would get fitter of course until their body got used to that or we could change the intensity so instead of them walking that one mile uh, at three miles an hour once a week. They now do it one mile at four and a half miles an hour once a week. They would get a little bit fitter once again until their body got used to that. Time of exercise. So if the client wants to, you know what, Ian, I only want to walk at three miles an hour. Uh, and currently they're only doing it for a mile. So it might last about, well, what, um, 20 minutes or so. You could then say to them, well, okay, how about you do that for four hours for me then? So you do it once a week at three miles an hour, but you do four hours worth that would manipulate the fit principle and we get a result and the final one is type of exercise so if you always just do one sort of exercise you only go out for a jog or you're only doing high intensity intervals or you're only doing nordic walk or whatever it happens to be or you only lift weights whatever then your body eventually will get used to that unless you manipulate the fitness principle so if you only do jogging why not try some um, strength exercises some resistance exercises sometimes and that will make a difference for you so just like the three card monty is manipulating people for bad reasons right in fitness we manipulate the fit principle for good reasons to help clients get what they want hope that makes sense speak to you soon